Hey everybody, I'm Mike Wendland. Uh, this report doesn't have a lot to do with camping or RVs or travel, or does it? It does in a way because I got a new camera system that I'll be using to do our YouTube videos. You want to see it? Let's unbox it. Now the camera I have been using is the Canon G7X. I got it in the spring. I've been very happy with it. It's a camera that a lot of uh, vloggers or video bloggers use on YouTube and it does a great job. Great image quality. Except it has a couple of issues. Uh, sometimes focus close up isn't what it should be. And the second issue is sound. It just does not sound as well as it should because it doesn't have space for an external microphone. So, not quite satisfied. I've been doing a lot of looking and I believe that I have found the perfect setup. Let me show you as we open the box. All right, this is uh, opening it all for the very first time. There's my invoice. Oh, we got some packing stuff. We'll get rid of all that packing stuff. Uh, we have, it looks like a little camera bag. Well, you can always be happy with a camera bag. And then here it is. This is the camera itself. Let's come around and take it off so you can see it. It is the EOS 80D from Canon. And um, it's a little bigger than that GX7X uh, that I've been showing you. So we'll put the camera away. Uh, the um, microphone. This is a very cool mic. This is the Video Mic Go from Rode, R-O-D-E. Some people call it Rode. And um, this will make a big difference on our audio. We'll put that aside. This, <laughs> this is called the Dead Cat. Kind of looks like a dead kitten, doesn't it? It's actually a windscreen that'll make it much easier to shoot outdoors, which is the way we shoot most of our videos. Um, this is a ball head. It is uh, to go on a special tripod that we have. Uh, we'll bring that out in a minute. Here is what I really like about this. This is the lens I will use on the 70D or the 80D. This is the Canon um, 10 through 22. It's a very wide angle, but you can also zoom in a little bit. And it does a nice job in fairly low light at 3.5 to 4.5 USM. So we'll put that aside and we'll hook that up later. Um, this, oh, this has nothing to do. This is the little external mic I bought when I used the iPhone to do uh, various YouTube or Facebook Live videos. It'll fit right into the iPhone. See that little uh, lightning jack connector there? But that has nothing to do with my main system. This, what is this? No, this is the lens hood for that wide-angle camera. We'll put that there. And this is um, some replacement batteries and a, a charger that we will use. That will help a lot. And then the final item we got, which is the SanDisk 32-gigabyte uh, uh, super-fast card, video card, to record everything on. So there it is. The box is empty. Time now to unbox the camera, the EOS 80D, and let's see, I'm a big Canon fan. I use Canon for everything. I have the 5D Mark IV, and of course I'm uh, using the, uh, the Canon GX7 that I just showed you. Here's all the instruction books, and I put those away, registration, and we'll bring the body out now, nice and carefully wrapped. Okay, here's the lens. Take the lens stuff out. Paperwork. Let's put the lens on the camera and uh, we'll see how this thing works as we line it up. So there it is. There's the camera with the uh, wide angle lens attached and you can see it's considerably heftier and bigger than the GX7 that I have been using, but this lens and the camera itself with its many autofocus points is going to do a great job in giving me the image that I really need to get for these YouTube videos. And there's also this, the Jabi Gorilla Pod, and uh, this is meant for uh, the little heavier camera, the SLR camera that I have. 
They have smaller ones of these. You'll see it hooked up in a minute, but this is a really cool little device because you can uh, use this thing to literally wrap around just about anything. Uh, it will uh, hold many different positions, and uh, it's also like a little tripod to hold your camera. So here's the camera. It's mounted on that uh, Jobby mini pod. It has a ball head, which means you can uh, rotate the camera however you want. Those legs are very flexible. You can wrap them around anything you want, just about. And you can even um, pick it up, pick up the camera, and use that as sort of a selfie stick. Very handy. So that is the system. Now, up until now, you have uh, seen all this video. It has been shot on my older camera, uh, the one I'll still use, the very small uh, GX7. But what does the new camera look like? Let's switch and find out. Up until now, everything you saw was recorded on my Canon G7X. This camera, little tiny camera, even fits in my pocket. I've enjoyed it a lot. It's an easy camera to use. I will probably continue to use it for many of our video reports. But now you're watching video recorded on the Canon 80D, which I think is going to be my main camera. It's also being uh, recorded audio-wise with that new microphone. Let me just shoot it with here and I can edit this in. <laughs> this is the new uh, Dead Cat uh, cover on the microphone on the omnidirectional shotgun mic that's mounted on the 80D. Uh, and this, of course, is the camera recording everything we do here. Now, um, the, one of the things that I like about this camera is its ability to focus. It has something like uh, 45 focus points. And you center it, like I'm centered on my face right now, and if I move, I can see on a little box on this uh, flip-out screen that it is following me around. Let me show you that screen. Can you see that screen right there? There's a little box on it, that little white box, and that is the one of the focus things uh, that's on my face and so it will keep everything in focus. The other thing I really like about this is um, it is a wide angle lens. Now not just because I'm a wide person but it's a wide angle lens so you see more of what is around me and that will be particularly important when we're out doing videos on the open road and, and uh, showing off the RV and other things. It does have a zoom lens. I can zoom in and uh, it will it will do a great job and it focuses you see it continues to focus as I zoom in up until this point this is what was capturing the sound and this was also the video this is the Canon G7X now I like this camera a lot it does an, uh, an incredible job but it's small you see it's very small I can actually put it in my pocket the other camera, the new one, the 80D, well, let me just show you. I'll take a picture of it with this camera. You can see it's, it's pretty large. Uh, this is the microphone now that it's recorded uh, through. This is that uh, dead cat covering, they call it. And uh, it does a pretty good job of breaking the wind. Uh, <laughs> did I say breaking the wind? I did. Uh, it does a pretty good sound of eliminating wind noise. I'm going to leave that in. I'm not going to edit that out. It does a pretty good job of eliminating wind noise. And let me give you an example. I'll just bring it up closer. And if I blow in it, you can hear me blowing with the microphone, but you're not hearing that, that uh, roaring wind noise that you hear uh, on, uh, on this camera, for example, when we're outside. I think that will remain one of my key lines. This does a good job of breaking the wind. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, one more thing. If the microphone on that shotgun just is inadequate, or if perhaps we're too far away from the camera, I've got this. Because the ADD has an external microphone input, I can use my Sennheiser wireless microphones. This is the microphone with a little lavalier mic on it and this is the receiver, I can use this to record audio from a long distance away, or if I really need solid, good, really quality audio, this will do the job. Let me show you. Okay, the Sennheiser is now turned on, and uh, I'm using the lavalier mic that is uh, attached here, 
And this is um, another big plus of having the ADD. I can have really nice audio. Uh, we can wire people up for interviews or we can uh, do show and tells and be some distance away from the camera. So I'm pretty excited about all of this. I'd love to hear your comments, what you think of how the uh, video and the audio looks. Uh, also, you can ask questions. Just use the space down below. If you're interested in any of the gear that I use for uh, the podcast, the blog, or the YouTube channel, Channel. I have a special website where we have put links to everything we've mentioned over the years. It's our affiliate link uh, to Amazon and other, other places where I buy my gear. But you can see every piece of gear we've mentioned and that I use if you go to kit, K-I-T, kit.com slash RV lifestyle. Kit.com slash RV lifestyle. I've got stuff I use at home, the electronics we take, all the apps we mention, all my camera gear, my video gear, and of course all the gear we take uh, with us on our RV trips. Please subscribe to this video. There's a little red link. If you click that, you can subscribe. And there's a bell icon. Have you seen that on YouTube? If you ever wonder what that's for, well, if you click the bell icon, uh, you will then be able to check a box and be notified when we put up new videos here on the YouTube channel. We put videos up every week and you'll know when they're up if you click that box. Hey, I'm Mike Wendland. I appreciate you watching. Bye.